Hey, what's up you guys? It's Cash and I'm bringing you a new YouTube video today. I'm really excited to be back connecting with everyone. I hope everyone's had a successful week. Let's just celebrate that we made it to the weekend. And if you don't know what you're celebrating for, here's what I'm celebrating. I'm celebrating just being able to wake up, see another day and moving through life goals and accomplishing things. So, you know, I'm celebrating like small victories too. It doesn't have to be monumental milestones, but here I'm just appreciating those things. And I feel like, you know, we got to remind ourselves that let's just appreciate the in-between goals that get us to those larger goals and just be at peace with that. So that's what I'm celebrating now that we're here at the weekend. I also need to figure out what places I'm going to hit up this weekend. Maybe I'll show that in the next video because as I'm recording this video, it's not the weekend yet. So I'll have to update you next week about that. I've been reading some new books that's been interesting this past week. Uh, some of them even more so like longer than that. If you haven't heard of these books, I would highly recommend them. They're pretty good. I like them. I think you would enjoy them too. We have Tribes by Seth Godin. I like the subtitle that says, we need you to lead us. We need you to lead us. It's definitely an interesting book about finding your community and making a tribe out of that. I'm sure we can all relate that in life sometimes you're looking for your community of like, who do I connect with? So it's definitely a great book to check out. Definitely highly recommend it. The other book that I've been reading is called The Mountain Is You, Transforming Self-Sabotage into Self-Mastery. That book is also pretty powerful too because it's just the reminders of the little things that we do to ourselves that hold us back. And this book's really pointing that out. So I'm like, okay, I can make some improvement and growth in this area. And I'm really looking forward to just finishing this book and just see how they wrap this entirety of the chapters together in a final conclusion. So that'll be interesting. But those are the two books that I've been reading right now. Definitely you should check them out if you have the time to do so. But as many of you are watching right now, you're probably like, what are we going to be talking about this week? And literally, I just wanted to share with you all just some of the things that I've been doing this week. I uh, got some new clothes, went on like a little shopping haul. It's been a while since I've been in cold weather, so I had to upgrade my wardrobe. It is freezing outside. Can we talk about how cold it's been? Last night, it hit 29 degrees. I'm not used to this. Like, what? 29 degrees it's been a while since i've been in 29 degree weather like it's so cold it's disrespectful especially like with me like i got this bald head yo like i can't be outside with with my top just open like this nah nah i, I don't i don't do good with cold weather when i had hair that was one thing but now like sheesh uh -uh, it's not gonna work for me so i'm gonna show you some of the clothes that i wore throughout this week and some of the new items that i picked up and had sent to me which i'm really excited to talk about unfortunately the gym was closed too this week which was weird i don't know what was going on with that but i managed to get some exercise outside i went to like my old high school and uh, hit some field work which was fun and since we've been dealing with such cold weather feels like winter's actually here in texas i decided to make a green juice this week as well just to help boost the immune system and just to fight off any toxins that may have been lingering around so let's go ahead and get into this video you all let me know what you think and if this is your first time here visiting my channel seeing one of my videos i hope you take the time to watch this video all the way through and if you enjoy the content at the end, please like and subscribe to the channel. Come join the crew. So let's get right into that video. So with this week being so crazy with the conditions ranging from 29 degrees low, sometimes the 40s is the high. I definitely needed someone to hook me up with some clothes this week. I'm so glad that I was already prepared because my good friend George at Noise, a company that's in Montreal, Canada, sent me some of their outerwear apparel for men and I'm so glad that they did. They have casual fits to even more dressier looks that definitely goes with the style that I'm trying to accomplish here. The outerwear that I've been using is the Dallas Short Length Overshirt, the Quint CC Short Length Puffer, and the Stringer Short Length Bomber as well. They have a wide selection of casual, everyday essentials and even statement pieces that I'm wearing here. And for those who are into the ethical side of fashion with sustainability, this is a company you definitely want to look into because they're all about that.
Moving along here, I decided to pull some of my own favorite pieces that I've been wearing. As you can see here, I have an all black Fear of God bomber jacket. I really like what Jerry Lorenzo has been doing with his fashion company. And you can see I have a nice denim jacket that is quilted on the inside just for some extra warmth during these cold conditions. Hard work, dedication, mindset. These are the things that require us to take advantage of what's presented in front of us. Being willing to push through the challenges of life, mentally, physically, and emotionally. Stepping out one day at a time, pushing our body past our limits. Be brave and courageous, get your body moving, and stay active. So with the weather being so cold this week and our immune systems are just putting up the fight of their lives with everything going on in the world, I decided to make a green juice just to help strengthen that immune system and just take care of the people that I love the most. This is a green juice that I happen to make for my mom and my sister and they always are the main ones who consume the majority of it. I know some people aren't a fan of green juice because it may taste a little bit tart or bitter just because of the dark greens are so overpowering. Now, if you're a more experienced juicer, then you may have adapted and say, I love dark green juice and that's okay. But for those who are more on the beginner side and still trying to find out their way, a pro tip is just add some pineapples and apples to the green juice to add a more sweeter taste to it. I'll have the recipe linked below. I use so many different greens that it's almost like a meal replacement by the time I'll complete it with making a two gallon mixture of green juice. This seems like it's unfair to have this much green juice for one person. So that's why I'm sharing it with my family. And for the juicer of choice that I'm using, I'm using the Nama J2 juicer. I'll have the link below for the juicer that I'm using. Wow, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I really put a lot of effort and energy in creating this. Let me know like what was some of your favorite outfits. Um, if you were feeling the fitness video that I put together, I'm gonna break down more of my fitness exercise, some with weights, some without weights that you can do at home that's really easy and simple to accomplish. And let me know if you plan on making the green juice recipe that I make. You don't have to make it to the magnitude that I do. Um, I'm sharing with a lot of people here at the house. That was like a two gallon jar that I was filling up, which is a little bit overboard. But I just want to say thank you all for watching the YouTube video today, especially if you made it to this part of the channel. I really appreciate the community that's been growing here and all the comments that you've been leaving. If you made it this far, please leave a like on the channel and subscribe to the channel as well. I'm just thankful that you all are here and I keep seeing you all show up leaving positive comments. It really does a lot for me. So uh, if there's anything that I can do for you all, and that could be like specific videos, um, challenges, whatever the case that it may be, like just put it in the comment section. It'd be interesting to see like what you all put there. And I really feel like I'm connecting with y'all and I hope you feel the same way. So with that being said, I'll see y'all next week. Thanks for the love. I'm sending love your way as well because we all deserve it. So let's keep the good energy out here. Peace. Let's get it. Y'all still here? Video's over. Hey, video's done. Nothing else is going to happen. I'm just, I'm just sipping on, sipping on some sparkling water right now. You can go. Nothing else is about to happen. I'm just drinking sparkling water. That sounds so good.